I'm Markus, I'm from Austria. I have started very early in my career in web design and a little bit of coding. And uh, I studied business in Vienna and had a restaurant, or opened up a restaurant in, during that time and developed software for restaurants, also in uh, not, so not just only ran a restaurant. And then uh, after a couple of years running this, I came to Berlin and spent now my last seven years in product management with companies such as N26, where I joined them as the first product manager and then scaled the product management team, but also other companies such as Cirque in the kick scooter sharing space, uh, where I worked on a product that had both hardware and software. And I'm currently working as a coach and consultant with a portfolio of early stage companies and help them with different questions around product. Key learning number one is that you should either, if you're a leader, you should somehow get a structured approach into your coaching, performance management, career development uh, setup. And there are unfortunately not so many tools out there. So I'm happy to offer my framework that's built on many other people's input. Uh, and you can use that to have a much better organized, structured and aligned performance management and career development uh, process. And if you're an individual uh, and don't have a leader in your organization or you don't or your leader is too busy or not experienced enough, take that skill matrix and use it to understand where you are on what level and identify where you want to develop and what uh, skills you might be missing. So understand what is even expected from you so you can plan uh, and build a, a great career uh, in product management. Yeah, I'm very excited about the job and role of a product manager. I think it's just, it's just such a great fulfilling job because you're working with such a diversity of, of different people uh, you have a lot of, you can contribute and have a lot of impact in the organization. You have a lot of impact through the products you built on your users. And it's a very entrepreneurial role that combines creativity and both, like both creativity and structured, organized thinking in processes. So I just love that role. And I've seen so many people in the last years discovering that role and being super excited about it and ending up be being a very strong product managers. But I have also seen a lot of people who struggle to understand what, what does it even mean to be a good PM? What does it mean to be successful in that job? And because it's a very, their expectations are crazy. So many founders have unreasonable expectations towards product managers. So on the one hand side, I'm, I just I basically want to make people happy in their job. And I think product management can help to make a lot of people happy in their job, but you need to know what's to be expected, whether that's a role that you actually, uh, that fits your, your personality, and then um, also manage the expectations within your organization of what is feasible and whatnot. So I want to help more product managers become great product managers because then we all see better products out there and it's something that society will benefit from. I think it's essential to build self-reflection loops and I've written an article on that specifically. And this tool, this matrix can help you get your self-reflection on your product skills started and can help you to understand where you are and where you go, where you want to go. So if you are keen on, on personal growth and self growth, then definitely have a look at this. I think that can be of a lot of help. And I'm really excited if you share your feedback with me, because I think that tool is never done. I want to progress it further and I want to improve it. So feel free to share your feedback. I want to see your variation that you created from this and how you use it. Tell your story to others and share it with others so we can make together more great product people out there. I 
think it's easiest if they reach out to me via LinkedIn. I sometimes can be a bit slow on LinkedIn to reply because it's not the one tool where, which I check every day, but every couple of days. But I think it's not a topic that's urgent anyway. I go through all my messages and it's, I, I will reply, but uh, I think it's the, it's the first and good point to connect and, uh, and then take it from there. As soon as I publish this article, which will be in the next couple of weeks, so probably somewhere in June, you can also comment under that article and engage with me through the comments.